The last section of Chapter 14, Planning and Delivery Programs, is emerging concerns and the needed research. The relative aspects, in, rel in relation to aspects of planning, there's a, there's a large lack of the feminist viewpoint in literature when it comes to education or adult education uh, programs. But, there, but recently there's been a lot of activity, a lot of research and studies done on the African view, viewpoint, which is uh, a very positive move. So uh, when it, as an emergency, emerging concern, uh, more research, more literature needs to be written on the, the, uh, the feminist point of view. Uh, it's a male-dominated world, it's a male-dominated society, so uh, to gain that extra viewpoint for the, definitely for, uh, for, for very well uh, diversity kind of would be a good, good way to go. Uh, ethics. Ethics and planning and delivery. There's been a lot of great progress in ethics and, and planning uh, in the last uh, 10 years. Uh, the focus really has been on what the cause and effect of is. Uh, you're planning a program, you, uh, you present teachers, you allow instructors, you have students, you have places for them to be, but when, when you're rolling these programs out, what is, what is being caused? What is being happening? And, and can some of those actually cause detriment or uh, have an ethical situation to the uh, to the uh, either a the uh, the programmers or the people who are actually in the, the adult education who are actually in the, those programs? Some of those can may include the competence of instructors. Just because you have a good program and you do maybe you don't have good good instructors, so you really need to look at that. The privacy of the individuals in the programs, even the claims of benefits. Uh, if, if your program and you're claiming that, that you're doing something or your, your program would, would do this particular type of benefit to the person who's enrolled in it, you really need to make sure that those are there. You have an ethical responsibility to make sure that, that it's right as possible. The uh, aesthetics and planning and the delivery is, a lot, is a, something that's really becoming uh, emerging and is a concern and needs more research on. The aesthetics of the overall appealing look of the program relates to, can, can relate to the color, tones, and texture, especially when you have written documentation or when you focused on the World Wide Web. If you're putting a course on the World Wide Web for adult learning, you want to make sure that the aesthetics is very appealing. A lot of times adults will be looking for a program that they want to partake in, buy, purchase, or, or, or become part of, and you can really tell if the quality is there or not, if the aesthetics. If it doesn't look very good, chances are is the, the product that you're going to be receiving any good. So the, the better the aesthetics, the, the better the, pro, the, 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 the product will be. Knowles in 1970 comes back and suggests that not only should the aesthetics of, of color and, and texture be, but also look at the, the, uh, the, the rhyme, the flow, the harmony of the program. If the program is broke up in, in choppy little blocks, then therefore maybe the, uh, the, 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 the material is actually being presented isn't quite what it needs to be. So, Kind of, kind of uh, take concern about that. Those are the emerging and uh, emerging concerns and the needed research in adult programming and delivering of programs uh, in the future.